Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about triply adaptive eusynesic. This is a joint work with Ron Kennedy and Xiao Wang. So let me first define what is a NISIC protocol. So in the NISIC protocol, there is a prover who has an input statement X and a witness W and the verifier has the same with NP witness uh, NP statement X. Now the prover uh, computes a proof pi which attests that X is in the language L and W is a valid witness for it. Now after obtaining the proof of pi, the verifier uh, outputs either 0 or 1. Now the protocol has to satisfy a few properties. Firstly, it has to satisfy correctness that is if x is in the language L and w is a valid witness then v outputs 1 that is if the prover is honest then the verifier always outputs 1. Next it should satisfy soundness that is if x is not in the language then the verify, verifier outputs 0 with high probability. Finally it should also satisfy zero knowledge that is there exists a PPT or probabilistically polynomial time algorithm called simulator uh, which computes a simulated proof uh, just given the statement x and the trapdoor for the CRS uh, which is denoted by TD. So this proof uh, should be indistinguishable from an honestly generated proof. Next we need uh, three uh, additional properties from our NASIC system. Uh, firstly we need adaptive soundness. In this uh, system, the in this uh, game the uh, prover is corrupt and the challenge it samples the CRS and sends to the prover. Now the prover, prover can adaptively choose the statement x to be proven and it also computes a proof and uh, then it sends the statement and the proof to the challenger and now the challenger just runs the uh, uh, verified algorithm. Now adaptive soundness says that if x is not in the language then the challenger outputs 0 with very high probability. That is a verify uh, that is a prover cannot break soundness even if uh, the a statement is adaptively chosen based on the CRS distribution. Next we uh, uh, we extend the same uh, uh, same argument for the zero knowledge game. Uh, here uh, we have a simulator x who is given uh, who interacts with the cutoff verifier. Now the cutoff verifier obtains the CRS and it adaptively chooses the statement x and sends to the simulator. And the simulator again computes a simulated proof and this simulated proof should be indistinguishable from an honestly generated proof. Here the verifier is basically adaptively uh, can adaptively choose the statement x and the x has to be in the language. And we say that a protocol is adaptively zero knowledge uh, if the simulated proof is indistinguishable from a real proof even if the statement is uh, chosen based on the CRS distribution. Next we consider the setting where the prover can get adaptively corrupted after the protocol execution. So here we again start off with the same simulator who, uh, who is given the trap to the CRS and it comes up with a simulated proof and this proof is uh, indistinguishable from honestly generated proof. Next uh, the simulator is given this witness uh, um, of the prover once the prover gets adapted once the prover gets adaptively corrupted. Now the simulator has to come up with the randomness uh, that is used to generate that has been used to generate uh, the proof such that the proof looks consistent uh, with the witness following the honest prover algorithm to an adversarial verifier. So here security against adaptive corruptions says that uh, the simulated proof and the witness uh, and the randomness should be uh, like consistent uh, and they should be indistinguishable from a real one. Now we define the notion of triply adaptive NISIC. Here we uh, require the NISIC protocol to have all three properties that is adaptive soundness, adaptive zero knowledge and adaptive security. So uh, this uh, kind of uh, triply adaptive NISIC uh, provides realistic security guarantees because the prover uses the same CRS to proof adaptively chosen statements and it also provides security against adaptive corruption. Uh, so this is kind of very useful in real life applications where the a, par a party can get corrupted um, after some ex like after some point of time and still you get security. And then finally we require uh, UC security so that uh, the same trusted CRS 
it is reused for multiple sessions between different parties so it's and you can also like compose your NISIC protocol inside your favorite uh, uh, MPC protocol. Now let's briefly uh, check out the state of the art uh, for triply adaptive NISIC protocols. So there is a seminal work by Groth Oskowski Sahai. So that work does not obtain adaptive soundness but it obtains adaptive zero knowledge and adaptive security against adaptive corruptions and they are based on pairings. Uh, they do not obtain adaptive soundness because uh, they are their CRS is in the, is in the dual mode setting uh, which is not compatible with adaptive soundness. Um, then there is another work by Katsumata so uh, they are also uh, from pairings and they also fail to obtain adaptive soundness but they obtain adaptive zero knowledge and adaptive security. Then there was this work by Abe and Fair, uh, which obtains strictly adaptivity uh, but they require knowledge assumptions for their proof. So we uh, complete this picture by showing that we can obtain triply adaptive NISIC protocols uh, from standard assumptions like LWE or DDH plus LPN and we do not rely on any knowledge assumptions. So uh, to briefly go through our contributions uh, we construct the first uh, we first uh, propose a non interactive UC commitment functionality F NICOM here the parties can access the F NICOM functionality locally for commitment generation and verification and the functionality also outputs a commitment string during the commit phase as a result uh, this functionality is very friendly for MPC protocols uh, it does not require any interaction between the parties uh, and between the two parties during the commit phase or verification phase. Next we uh, construct a triply adaptive NISIC compiler how we do this by proposing the notion of triply adaptive sigma protocol in F NICOM model then we compile the above sigma protocol to obtain triply adaptive NISIC finally we use apply uh, we ap so finally we also uh, show how to apply correlation interactability for NISIC arguments previously it was only known for NISIC proofs or proof systems uh, then we instantiate uh, our compiler by showing that most sigma protocols which are like commit and open are triply adaptive in the F NICOM model and then we implement F NICOM with the Kennedy Fishlin commitment scheme. And finally we uh, obtain UC security using uh, generic or standard tricks from growth of Sophie or the literature. Uh, thank you, uh, hope to see you at the talk.